Here we go. Nice big right hand by Calvillo there. His leg kick as well. Cynthia landing a jab there. And Cynthia initiating the, uh, the grappling. Nice underhook there by Aspen Ladd. Nice jab there by Calvillo. Aspen doing a good job keeping the posture down. Makes it a little tough for the next on the fence like that though. Yeah, both fighters are very comfortable on the ground, so we'll see if uh, Aspen just tries to work a submission here and what Cynthia can do as well. Looks like Aspen Ladd is moving high up there on the guard. Uh, set up a submission, she's now moving a little bit further down. De Cynthia definitely needs to watch her arm here. Aspen turning around for that arm bar. Seems to have her hip position. Looks like Aspen's got her right arm out around Cynthia's leg. Is she looking for a sweep there? Yeah. So if you're uh, you know what she's supposed to do, stack, stack there, turn away, try to get her elbow pass to get out. Um, if she's got an arm trap. You need to turn her head the other way. There you go. And you'll notice Cynthia there putting her knee around uh, Lad's head there, preventing Aspen from really pressing out, straightening out her body. Makes it tough to try and attack the armbar when you're pressured up against a cage like that. So Cynthia's doing a good job. She needs to stack down on Aspen's throat, keep the pressure. Feel when Aspen has to readjust and, and pull her arm out of there. So here in these shorter rounds in the amateur fights, uh, does it make sense to stay in this position, or you, should you be aggressive in trying to transition to another technique if you're not successful? Uh, I mean, it, it, it all depends. It looks like she has the arm, you know, so she's going she's gonna to hold on to it and, and wait. Um, you know, jiu-jitsu has a lot to do with the, the timing. So if the, if the timing's there, the catch will happen. If not, you know. Right. Uh, you know, if you're in a guillotine submission and you wasn't getting it, you, would you should bail, but, you know, this is just the arm bar. It's not tying out and blowing out your arms. Not, so, uh, it's good. Aspen's been slowly improving her position, getting uh, better leverage. Although it looks like Cynthia's worked that elbow out at this point. And that's the end of the first round. Which one's going to break first? Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, let's go with uh, extra distance and see uh, what they can get accomplished now. They're coming out swinging. It's like both fighters landing some punches. I think Cynthia might have gotten a little bit better on that exchange. Looks like Cynthia hits a little bit harder than Aspen. Oh, days. definitely. Aspen's throwing a lot of hands, but it doesn't look like there's much power behind those. But, you know, if you get caught up with a few of those, you know, it definitely can slow you down. That sort of uh, Nick Diaz volume approach. Yeah. And Cynthia's landing more power shots, catching the kicks, looking for the takedown, which she did in the first round. Cynthia with a nice ankle pick down. there. Lad immediately trying to pop up. Looks like Calvillo's got it down. Trying to pass the guard here. Nice pressure by Cynthia. And he's taking it back. Very dominant, a little high here. She's Getting very down. close to Ooh, she's in a mounted position. Getting Aspen down. looking to sneak out of that. And a body trying on. A little uh, fall off. Looks like Lad's now uh, getting on top here. Cynthia immediately kicking out, getting to her knees. Nice. Really good uh, scramble right there. Very uh, talented girl. Women, I should say. You notice Calvillo nice has a lot more head movement than, than Ladd does. That may contribute to her success here in the stand-up. Yeah, Although Ladd is, needs to keep her hands in. Ladd is throwing a lot of strikes. No, she's pressing Calvillo to the, uh, to the cage. You know, like Jeremiah said, you know, uh, it might not be power punches, but you got to power with a lot of those. It's going to add up. And, uh, it's 
Just Lat he's got that good, good jab, you know, jab, you know, jab stick and move on that, you know, one, two. Lad shoots for the double. Here. Puts the head down. Yeah, Lad unable to clasp her hands there. Cross face by Cynthia. Ooh, taking it back again. Cynthia so needs to keep this top position. She's a little high on the back. She needs to come down a little lower to keep it. Lad's posturing up, trying to slip out the back there. And she was flat and Aspen out totally. She got both hooks in. Um, and settled back. She's a little high. Aspen's doing a good job of trying to you know, escape out the back. Both fighters jockeying for position here. Cynthia now uh, adding some strikes. And playing half and house and really twerking on her. Looks like Lad's got control of Cynthia's left hand there, unable to pull it out. And actually her right hand as well, and Calvillo's unable to punch here as the second round comes to a close. Another very close round. Uh, He's come out and guns blazing, so looking for an exciting third round right here for both fighters. They're both in well shape, they look like. Been... Aspen coming out aggressively. Cynthia pressing her up against the cage. I don't think he's catching the kick. Yeah, it's a third take pass he got with catching the kick. Trying to pass out of that half guard there is Cynthia Calvillo. Calvillo showing some good pressure here in the ground game. Looks like uh, Lad's got her back in the guard. That's a close guard. Uh, if I were Cynthia, I'd pick up her neck and put her right against the fence, cover my feet, hips forward, and start raining down punches. And Aspen different. going for that. Uh, Good scramble. Oh, Cynthia's a little high again in that scramble. And you settle back. She's attacking the throat here. You could see her there where uh, Aspen Lad was going for the arm bars. Cynthia noticing it. Immediately transitioning. She's now passed to. Looks like she's got the back there, both hooks in. The corner calling for her to start punching. Yeah, she needs to you know, establish it and you know, get a, you know, she's working the choke right now, but I'll throw some punches, soften it up, to get the choke settled in. She's in a weird position though. Her head's stuck in the cage. Aspen there turning into the choke. Again, Cynthia's having a hard time breaking down Aspen's posture from this position. Laying in elbows there. Cynthia's still a little too high on the back. Just a lower her hips. Get a little bit lower. I think Cynthia needs to throw some punches, though, to uh, you know get Aspen's attention away from, from the rear naked choke and then sink the arm in. Yeah, Aspen's definitely controlling Cynthia's wrist, preventing her from getting deep under the chin there with the choke. Still looking calm though. Aspen's still looking calm. Yeah, very calm, very poised fighter for such a young fighter. Yeah, definitely. I like to see Cynthia you know, settle back, you know, flatten her out and start, you know, dropping some punches on her. And Aspen's doing a very good job of trying to get out the back door and not, get, not allowing Cynthia to flatten her out. Right with that choke. Looks like she's got the hand out. Now she's just gonna punch as we have short time remaining here in the third round. And this fight is in the books. What looked like a, a fairly dominant round there for Cynthia Calvillo. By way of unanimous decision and new WFC amateur women.